In this example, we're asked to simplify the square root of 25 minus x squared, knowing that x is 5 sine theta. So let's rewrite our problem. And in the place of x, we're going to put 5 times the sine of theta squared. So if we square this, we're going to have 25 sine squared of theta. Notice that both this term and this term have a 25, so we're going to factor that out. And that would leave us 1 minus the sine squared of theta. And 1 minus the sine squared of theta is the cosine squared of theta. So now we have the square root of two perfect squares. The square root of 25 is 5, and the square root of cosine squared of theta is cosine theta. So we've simplified our problem down to be 5 cosine theta.